Hey, Sparkle Squad, we're just scooting back home from school. And everyone was super excited today because tomorrow's the wait, last... Wait, 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 did you tell him yet? Did you tell him? See how excited everyone is? Because tomorrow is the... Wait, wait, hold on, Ellie. Can I tell him, please? Sure, go ahead, Jimmy. All right, everyone, I'm about to say it. Tomorrow's the last day of school, the greatest day of the year. I'll see you at the pool. That's how I'm spending my summer. Ooh, I think I'm going to head there right now. Wee! But Jimmy, we still have a couple of assignments before the end of... Oh, that Jimmy. Boys and girls, if you want to see how we spend the last day of school, give me a big thumbs up. Let's do this. So the last assignment our teacher gave us was to go through our old school back and clear it out. Now there's a lot in here from over the school year. Let's see what we got. Got plenty of books and textbooks from class. My trusty pencil case. Oh, what's this? Oh, cool, our harmonica. Oh, I'm definitely gonna keep this. This reminds me of the time that we all had to think of a song for the school talent show. No, oh, no, that won't work. Hey, Jimmy, you look a little frustrated. What's up? I want to write a song for the school talent show, but I can't think of anything to write about. It's really hard. Yeah, writing is definitely super hard. Well, here's some advice that Coach Rocco once gave me. Write about something you like, or about someone who inspires you. Huh, that's a good idea, Ellie. You mean like a very good friend? Mm-hmm. Someone who's always there to cheer me up? Yeah. Someone really smart and really cool? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a cool person to write a song about. This is gonna be a great song. Thanks, Ellie. I can't wait for you to hear it. No problem. Hey, how's your talent show ideas coming? They're going really well, I think. Oh, Coach Rocco, I think that Jimmy's writing a song about me. <laughs> That's so cool. It's so hard to get him to do anything. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna be playing the ukulele. It's gonna be a really good time. Voila! My masterpiece is complete. This song is dedicated to someone very special to me. Ellie, give me an E. There's someone that I know from school. His name is Jimmy and he's cool. Well, he's the coolest boy in school. Jimmy is cool. And everybody knows he rules at basketball and Roblox too. If you don't like him, you're a fool. Cause he's cool. Everybody know Jimmy is so very cool. Jimmy is so very cool. He's the coolest boy in school. Jimmy is cool. He likes to wear the color orange. Oh, oh no. Well, nothing rhymes with orange. But, but regardless, he is cool. And Jelly, you're okay too. Aww. Everyone, Jimmy is so very cool. Jimmy is so very cool. Jimmy is so very cool. Jimmy is cool. Yeah. Awesome. I think that might be the best song ever written. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Can you believe that Jimmy made a song all about himself? Wait, actually I can believe that. <laughs> what else do we have in here? Mm. Oh, cool! My paintbrushes! Now I've used these guys for a lot of cool paintings over the years, but there is one from this past year that really stuck out. I wonder where our art teacher is. Class started five minutes ago and she's not here yet. Wait a minute, does that mean class is canceled? Can we go home? I'm here, I'm here, don't panic. Your regular art teacher called in sick today, so I'm gonna be taking over. I know I usually teach lunch and gym, but I think I'll be a pretty good substitute art teacher. Awesome, Coach Rocco, I didn't know you were an artist. So Coach Rocco, what are we gonna paint today? Maybe a seascape? Something from the Impressionist era? Will we be using acrylics or watercolors? Uh, an Impressionist what? <laughs> no, uh, I figured we could just get together and paint whatever makes us happy. That's a great idea, Coach Rocco. Paint what makes you happy. Okay. All right, and begin! All right, time's up. Now let's see your paintings. Ellie, what you got? All right, so I 
I decided to go with some random shapes and some of my favorite colors that make me happy. Pink, yellow, and blue. And this is what I got. Hmm, that's called an abstract painting, Ellie. You know, the abstract style dates back to the early 1900s. Now me, I went for realism. As you can see, it's a self-portrait in the Da Vinci classic style, but with elements of, well, in terms of the common man, it's just me doing my Jimmy spin rooney <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Coach Rafa? Let's see your painting. Oh, no, you don't want to see this. I only show my paintings to my mother, Mama Rocco, because I'm her favorite artist. <laughs> Come on, Coach Rocco. We want to see it. Come on, yeah. Come no, on. no, you don't want to see this. No. Of Please, course we on. do. Class is almost over anyway. Oh, come on. We want to see it. We want to see what Mama Rocco's going to hang up in her house. All right, all right. <laughs> don't laugh. It's a painting of Mama Rocco. Coach, that is amazing. Yeah, wow, Coach. I really love the realism style that you painted your mother with and the way it clashes with the more German expressionism style of the wilted flowers. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's what I was going for. <laughs> I figured. But the most important question, Coach Rocco, is does it make you happy? You know what? It does. It really does make me happy. And I bet it'll make Mama Rocco happy as well. And that makes me the happiest of all. <laughs> I can't wait to show her. <laughs> Mama Rocco still has that painting hanging up. It just goes to show, you just gotta do what you love sometimes, you know? <laughs> now what else do I have in here? Nothing in there. Oh. oh. Of course, my favorite, a PB&J. And that reminds me of the time that we had a school picnic. That was so much fun. Hey there, Coach Rocco. Hi, Ellie. Ooh, you baked a pie. Yep, I baked it specially for this picnic. It's apple. <laughs> smells delicious and it's beautiful. <laughs> you know, I've been baking a lot lately. I've been baking cakes and But cookies. what's a picnic without a little basketball? Specifically, the Jimmy Spinneroony. Oh, Jimmy! Jimmy! Oh, no. You destroyed another pie. Oh, my pie. Oh, sorry, guys. I didn't know it was there. What are we gonna do now? Well, don't panic. I brought all the ingredients to bake another pie. There's sugar, and flour, eggs in here, bowl, and- Wait a second. How are we gonna bake a pie out here without an oven? Well, I'm not gonna bring an oven to a picnic, silly. <laughs> Ooh, so what kind of pie should we make? Ooh, how about chocolate cream? No, Those I've, are my favorites. I've already decided I'm making a meringue. Well, we can't make any pies if there's no oven out here. You know, she might have a point, Coach Rocco. I know, let's make a cake instead. Well, I didn't bring any candles, Jimmy. Oh, come on, we can't even make a cake out here too. You know we bake cakes. Listen, I got some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that I made for myself. Mm. And I can share them all with you. Sounds pretty good. Mm. Ooh, there's some bugs out here. Ow. Wait a second. Jimmy, when you smash the pie, I think it attracted some... Ants! <laughs> What's up, Speckle Squad? Today is the first day of sports camp, and that means me and Jimmy are kicking it off with a... Cannonball Contest! And lucky for all you at home, I'm gonna use this opportunity to debut my newest, most adventurous and daring cannonball yet! It combines my patented Spinneroony technology, like this, with my patented Biggest Splash in the World technology, like so. When you put them together, it forms something that I like to call, Ellie, care to take a guess as to what it's called? You'll never get it. I don't know, maybe the Spin and Splasheroony? That's exactly what it's called. How did you know that? Lucky guess. Before you do any kind of Rooney, I was hoping you'd help me clean up around the pool area. There's camp equipment everywhere. I guess it is pretty messy. Don't worry, we'll clean it up and then we'll get right back to our cannonball contest. But what about the spin and splash of Rooney? Everything's all set up. You know, the basketball hoop, the pool, I'd hate to waste it. Well, you do have a point about this basketball hoop. It doesn't belong in the pool area, so if you just take it back down the driveway. Oh, fine, we'll start over there. And Allie, could you please help me organize this mess? Sure thing. Um, Coach, remember this scooter? And that scooter race that me and Jimmy went on? 
Gosh, I can't believe Jimmy tried to do that. All right, Jimmy, on my mark, we're gonna race to the end of the driveway. And the loser has to do the dishes for a whole week. Oh, you're on. Are you ready? Always ready. <laughs> okay, on your mark, get set, go! Whee! <laughs> Jimmy's got this one in the bag. Uh-uh, I'm way faster than you, Jimmy. Come on, move uh -huh. it. Could you be any slower? I'm faster than you. I'm winning this Whee! one. Woo! Ooh, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, yes! Oh boy! Huh? I've been bamboozled! My own favorite food turned against me! Pizza, how could you do this to me? Alright, almost there, almost there! And the winner is Ali Sparkle! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, we have to do this thing! <laughs> well done, well done! <laughs> Betrayed by a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Just when I think I've heard every excuse in the book, Jimmy comes up with the silliest one yet. <laughs> oh, come on. Anyone could have fallen for that. It's like that famous old saying, slow and steady wins the race, put your pizza in my face. I think that's Mother Goose. Now, how am I supposed to clean this basketball hoop all by myself? Oh, I can help. Okay, where do you want to put it? Hmm. Ooh, how about in my hangout room? Actually, that's not a bad idea. Remember the last time you put your basketball hoop in your room? You think this is really gonna work? Yep, Coach, this is exactly how I get Jimmy to put his clothes in the hamper. Trust me on this one. The only way you can make Jimmy do his chores is if you make him think that he's playing basketball or Roblox. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, it's my favorite time of the day. Basketball practice. Where's my basketball? Hey. Oh no, where's my ball? I gotta practice. I told everyone that I'd show them the spin a -rooney in gym class tomorrow. What am I gonna do? Is it under here? Is it under here? Hmm. I guess maybe this could work as a basketball. Let's see. Yeah, not bad. All right, Jimmy's going for the slam dunk. It's time for him to do his world famous spin a -rooney. Well, I can't believe it's working. But there's so many clothes left. Do you think you'll get all of it? Oh yeah, I've seen him do this all day. Something about that boy's spin a -rooney's just seem to get better and better every year. Isn't that right, Marv? Oh, you bet, Jim. I think it's safe to say that he's the best in the league. I guess this could work as a basketball. It certainly smells like one. A lot of sweat. Jimmy! So wait a minute. You're telling me that every time I slam dunk my socks, I'm actually cleaning my room? Technically, yes. But you wouldn't be the basketball player you are now without doing that. So you gotta clean all the time not to get even better. That's a good point. Touche, touche. Hey guys, look what I found! Ooh, the old baseball bat and ball. Who wants to play a game? You remember who won last time? Well, how could I forget? <laughs> Three more strikes and Jimmy's the world champion. Hey, bada 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 bada, hey, bada bada, swing! And a miss! Can't hit, can't hit, this player can't hit! Hey, bada bada bada, we want a batter, not a broken ladder! Jimmy! Swing and a miss! Ha ha! One more strike, he's only got one ball. Hey, bada 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 bada, hey, bada 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 bada, we want a batter, not a broken ladder. Hey, Jimmy, I think I saw the pizza delivery guy over there with the five pies you ordered. Pizza? You've got this, coach. Whoa! Oh. Home run, coach! Ooh. Woo! Yeah. You have to run all the way to home run. No, no, it's not that. It's that I finally won something. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, you get it. Home run, home run. Let's go get some smoothies. Come okay. on. Hello? Pizza man? Where are you? Ellie? Coach Rocco? You sure do love your pizza, Jimmy. I can't help it. Every time I see the delivery man, I just start thinking about all those hot, delicious, cheesy, wonderful pizzas. <laughs> no pizza left behind. That's my motto. You guys, we have to clean up the house. Oh! This is 
is what we have to clean up, Jimmy. Or you could just be a little more careful, like good old Jimmy. Jimmy, that's not the point. Come on. Hmm, I'll tell you what. If you can beat me in a baseball game, I'll clean up this entire yard by myself. How's that? Sure thing, Jimmy. No problem. <laughs> Where's the ball? I just got finished digging a hole for my latest adventure, a time capsule. So I had this treasure chest that I filled with all sorts of my favorite belongings. And now I'm just going to bury it for someone in the future to find. Here we go. Just one last step. There we go. Good luck, time capsule. I'll see you again, hopefully, way in the future. Hey there, Coach. What you doing? I'm picking up your mess. It looks like you didn't do your chores this morning. Well, technically it's still 11.59, Coach, and you know what that means. It's still technically morning, so I still got time to do my chores. Well, get to it and see what that thing is there. I nearly broke my neck tripping over that. Huh. Well, what is it? I'm not sure. I've never seen this before, and I'm pretty old, you know. Hey, guys. What are you looking at? Ellie, can you tell us what this is? Oh, I think I know what that is. It's my old time capsule from when I was younger. I buried this long ago for people like us in the future to look back on old memories. Oh, that sounds scary to me. Yeah, it's giving me the heebie-jeebies. Let's get out of here. Oh, it's not scary at all. It's fun to look back on our old that my favoriteest place in the whole world is the zoo. So I'm kind of what you would call an animal expert. <laughs> awesome, let's get started. One, two, three. But she's carrying something, who carries something? I got it, you're a school bus. A school bus, no. Okay, so I'm not supposed to give hints in the game of charades, but I'll do it this first time. It's animal charades, so think about animals. Boing, boing. Bouncing. She's bouncing Bounce. up and down. You're Bounce. a basketball. Bounce. No, silly, it's an animal. She's bouncing, she's bouncing. It's a whale, it's a whale. Come on, you guys, focus here. So, this animal hops, it lives in Australia, and it carries its young in its pouch. I give up. Yeah, me too. I'm no good at this charades. I'm better at sports. Guys, it's a kangaroo. <laughs> Kangaroo? That doesn't look anything like a kangaroo. You should have been more like this. Kanga, kanga, kangaroo. No, 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 that's not how it does. Here, hold this. I'll show you what a kangaroo does. It jumps like this and it chews at the same time. No, 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 no. you gotta get the clapping. Oh, oh like this. Chewing on something. Now they chew. They chew the back. Oh, my God. Yeah. I still remember how tasty that cookie was. Oh, yes, with all those chocolate chips, nothing in the middle. Okay, fellas, let's move on with the time capsule. Oh, there's still plenty of memories in here, like this one. It's a laser gun from the future. No, no, it's a, an ice cream scooper. No, it's a pizza cutter. I don't remember that. I do. I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> Special delivery! Fresh hot pizza coming right up! Ah, oh, perfect timing. I'm starving after a full day of summer activities. What do I do? I think he's playing basketball. Good idea, because this one's got all his favorite toppings. Doesn't it smell delicious? Mm-hmm. <laughs> My delicious pizza! It's ruined! Hey! You found my basketball! 
So what's for lunch? And voila! Since clumsy old Coach Rocco dropped the pizza in the pool, Chef Jimmy is here to save the day with my very special lunch Spectacular! What's a better poolside treat than some hot dogs? I'll show you my super secret recipe. First, you put on the condiments. Let's start with some mustard. Mmm, smells good already. Next up, potato chips. These babies really hit the spot. Mmm, and now for my personal favorite condiment, spaghetti. What hot dog is complete without a little spaghetti garnishing the top? And just one final, very special ingredient left, hot sauce. To give it a little zest, you know, a little zing. <laughs> I love hot sauce. Just a touch. Oh no! Oh, oops. Well, I'll be better with this one. Come on, just a little. Oh! Yikes! Ugh. Well, I hope they don't mind their hot dogs a little, uh, spicy. Oh, Ellie! Coach Rocco! Lunch is ready! Ta-da! Chef Jimmy's world-famous lunch special is complete. Awesome! I'm starving. Is that hot sauce I'm smelling? Exactly how much hot sauce did you put in there, Jimmy? Ooh, <laughs> I love hot sauce. Good choice. I love spicy food. Bone apple teeth. I don't know what that means, but it's something I always hear chefs say. All right, dig in, Ellie. Um, you know what, Coach? I'm going to watch you enjoy yours first. Oh, well, okay. More for me, I guess. Are you okay, Coach? <laughs> Do you need water? Jimmy, how much hot sauce did you put in this? A little here, a little there, a little here and there. <laughs> it's like, I just gotta tell you something. <laughs> I think it's great that you're working hard to clean up the environment, and we don't want litter in the water now. Yeah, especially since there are animals in there. You know frog skin is so sensitive to chemicals that any garbage that's in the water could be poison to the little guys. Poor little green guys. You know, I've always been a little bit scared of those frogs, but they still deserve to live garbage free. I agree. Hey, look at this cool rock I found. <laughs> Whoa, no way! Hey guys, you gotta come see this! What's up, Jimmy? I just saw the biggest frog in the whole world. It looked like a monster frog almost. Monster frog? Oh, I don't like the sound of this. I gotta get a picture of it so I can show the whole science class. Hey, is that him? There he is. Wait a second, where'd he go? Come on back, I need to get your picture. Here, froggy. Here, frogger. <laughs> hey kids, uh, I'm all for saving the planet and critters of the green variety, but monster frog, that's a little too slimy for my taste. <laughs> you feel me? Coach Rocco, <laughs> just stay right where you are. Don't move. Jimmy, get your phone. All right, just stay there. I'm Wait, gonna be famous. Don't tell me. The frog is on me? Don't be scared. It's perfectly harmless. It's probably more scared of you than you are of it. Say cheese. Stay calm. Stay calm. Get it off me! Get it off me! Oh, 
Michael, you flinch. Oh, it's just a little green guy. Ruined my picture. <laughs> wow, that frog was huge. I wonder whatever happened to him. He probably just jumped right back in the nice clean water and lived a long, happy life. Yeah, that was so long ago. See, that's why the time capsule is so great, so we can look back on all our memories. What other little goodies do you have in there? Oh, no, not again. Go, Trucko, stay right there. No. Don't move. Don't tell me. 